What's good YouTube, Jermaine here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content and let's get into the source. So these are the three skills or characteristics that you need to succeed as an OFM manager in 2023. You ready? Let's get into it. So skill number one is you need to understand how to be resourceful. This space is forever changing. Every single week, there's a new trend coming in. The new platform that's doing really well, there's new rules, there's new restrictions. The world is constantly, constantly evolving. If you cannot be resourceful, there's not gonna be the business opportunity for you, okay? Well, now, what does resourceful actually mean? Let's actually break that down. Resourceful essentially is the ability to be able to go outside the box and think and research and find new ways to make things happen. Ask that only ask for agency, we call it cracking it. So cracking different TikTok algorithm changes like cracking it is what we call it at only us right between myself and the team members at our agency right cracking it right so cracking it resource on the same like same kind of thing but what that means is essentially just being able to essentially think outside the box and achieve the outcome that you want which is essentially scaling the accounts scaling the models every single week okay week on week on week on so resourcefulness it's an important skill that you definitely need to implement and execute on on a daily basis when you're working with your models and when you're working with your clients right so you need to be able to communicate with different people jump in a bunch of different groups okay there's a lot of fluff out there with telegram groups i will tell you that guys there's a lot of vague people you know, go into groups flex the results and don't leave any value they just flex results and probably try and sell a service right um so just be very careful when you're, you're jumping out and messaging different people do your due diligence okay and just make sure that you actually are you know the person you're buying from but jumping to different telegram groups having different conversations with different people is essentially a great way to be resourceful to figure out new trends figure out new ways to essentially generate subs or just avoid any failures and mistakes that you can avoid whilst you're scaling your models right that's what i do like, i essentially pay to play a lot of these big agency owners out there right i essentially pay them on a consultancy fee or a monthly fee or a weekly fee whatever it is to learn from their skills, learn from their resources. That's what I teach my members at the academy. That's what I learned before for my models itself. That is how I'm continuously finding ways to be resourceful and continuously generate results for my creators. So if you don't have the resources there to you know, invest into consultancies or higher level mentors, you then have to just do it the free way, right? Which is spend more time researching, trialing and error, and obviously get the work done, get the job done and scale your models as much as you possibly can. So resourcefulness is an important skill that you need to master if you want to make it in 2023 with an OFM agency. The next skill that you need to be able to develop to do well in this space is execution or the ability to execute. Now, I see this all too often with Academy members. I see this with people on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. Like I genuinely get like 10 to 15 new Instagram DMs per day. And a lot of them ask me the same questions, right? Trying to get this perfect, trying to get the website banking, trying to get all this thing, all these things perfect, but not actually not actually executing on either finding a model or scaling the model itself, right? It's all well and good planning the whole microscope, the whole macroscope of the business model itself. But if you do not have a model, you're not driving traffic and generating sales via the PPVs, you would not centrally generate revenue, which is what I say all the time. If you're not generating revenue for your business, you do not have a business, you have a hobby, okay? So you need to make sure that you're continuously focused on generating revenue and performing revenue generating activities every single day to then essentially drive more sales to your business, right? And that is how the game works. If you're sitting around planning this, planning that, trying to get the perfect layout for this, perfect layout for that, perfect setup for this, perfect setup for that, you're never gonna move anywhere. You're essentially gonna be kicking that can down the road, furthering your opportunity to scale your business further, okay? So you need to execute and execute now, right? Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait for Monday. You know the Monday starters. Let's start on Monday. Let's go gym on Monday. Let's start fast on Monday. This and that and the other. Do it today, right? Execute on your traffic sources today. Set up your sources today and then start executing. Execution is what's going to get you far in this business and in any business and in life in general. The skill of mastering execution is generally going to help you get so much further in this world that we live in. The third skill that you need to learn and master to do well in OFM is essentially communication slash client management. Communication is so underrated. I think I did a video on this actually not too long ago but communication is essentially being able to communicate your progress with the models itself and being on the same team being on the same side as your model right you see a lot of OFM agencies out there that dictate their models tell their models what to do tell them to do this tell them to do that give that rule dictatorship approach that is only going to leave a sour taste in that person's mouth in that client's mouth which is only going to create tension create further pushback and it's just not going to be the greatest working environment right so being able to manage communication with your creators and I say this all the time client management is probably 
probably one of the hardest parts of this whole space itself, right? Scaling the models itself is obviously very difficult, but client management, dealing with people, emotions, typically those of females, is generally a very hard skill to learn, right? Especially in a business-based environment where you wanna operate off logical decisions, not emotional-based decisions, okay? And that is one of the hardest things to master. So if you can work towards every single day, better your communication with your models, with your team, okay? You essentially are gonna be able to accelerate your agency results because you can essentially get the menial things done pretty damn quickly, right? And that comes from client communication, being able to develop the skill of being able to communicate with your model, be collaborative and work on the same side. And that's gonna generate a great amount of result for you, for your agency. It's just gonna make your place, your agency, your house, a really great place to be in, right? There's nothing better than having a team that's all moving towards the same goal as you, having an agency and your clients all moving towards the same goal as you, which is growing and scaling. Everyone's moving in the same direction. It's a well-oiled machine and everything is just gonna be absolutely bliss, right? So if you can master that element of communication paired with resourcefulness and execution, yourself as an agency owner, I'm gonna find yourself in a very, very happy place. So focus on these three skills in 2023 and you're gonna become not only a better business owner, but you're gonna become a better OFM manager and you're essentially gonna drive your agency month on month on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed a bit of realism on this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.